I've previously talked about how our L. Reuteri yogurt that we make ourselves has some very interesting properties. For instance, it causes release of oxytocin from the, from the brain, from the hypothalamus, that in turn has some pretty incredible effects, including an acceleration of healing. Healing is an index of youthfulness, and so we have youthful healing restored. It increases dermal collagen, and so many people actually lose wrinkles, or at least have their wrinkles reduced in depth and prominence. It suppresses appetite, the so-called anorexogenic effect. It increases muscle and strength. So personally, my muscle and strength have gone way up back to where I was maybe when I was 18 or 19 years old. Uh, it increases testosterone in males. It increases libido. In other words, some very, very age-reversing effects, interesting age-reversing effects. But even beyond that, lactobacillus reuteri, the, the organism we use to ferment to our yogurt, also has some very interesting probiotic properties. So most probiotics colonize the colon. That is, they like the pH and the temperature and the, and the, and the um, environment of the colon and not the upper GI tract. Lactobacillus reuteri is unique in that it prefers the upper GI tract. It likes the stomach and the duodenum and jejunum and ileum. And not only that, it's an avid producer of something called bacteriosins, which are natural antibacterial or antibiotics that uh, suppress the growth of unhealthy organisms like Campylobacter, E. coli, and others. Those are the organisms that characterize small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO, which I've also talked about previously, and is widely out of control. It is occurring at epidemic levels now. So lactobacillus reuteri that we get through our yogurt, and recall that we use yogurt as an amplifying mechanism to increase bacterial counts. That's why we make the yogurt. Don't, don't just take the probiotic. We eat this yogurt. We implant lactobacillus reuteri in our upper GI tracts. And I think you could make a very powerful argument. This may either prevent emergence of SIBO or may help prevent recurrences of SIBO. And maybe even helps you if you're trying to manage SIBO actively with an antibiotic, say an herbal antibiotic and other efforts. I would combine it with lactobacillus reuteri because of its unique capacity to colonize the upper GI tract. There are very few other organisms that prefer to colonize the upper GI tract. So lactobacillus reuteri, this organism that people are also losing, it's disappearing from the modern microbiome, even though most people had it 60 years ago, and only one in 20 people now have it, restoring it can provide not just a boost in your oxytocin and all the age-reversing effects, but it also has fascinating upper GI colonizing probiotic effects.